And now, last uh, but not least, I know we'll let you get out of here, but Venetia told us a fact this morning that we'd like you to share with Bert. Oh, and you can ask him, you know, because... Bert, do you know the nickname of Hitler's mustache? No. No, but hang on, wait. Why are we, why are we doing this? Because, you know, we have a moratorium about me talking about Hitler. Do you? Uh, I am, obs- I am obsessed. Right. Like, I, well, I'm a big history guy. Yeah. And so... I, I have a joke about it now that you can't learn you can't learn about Hitler because there's so many little fun facts that you bring up and you sound like a fucking Nazi when yeah. like someone I'm like oh yeah 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 Hitler's dad was a beekeeper and they're like what <laughs> uh, uh, someone said the other day someone said the other day uh, you know uh, Jenna's uh, five eight and I went Hitler was five nine and they're like <laughs> why, why would you bring him up <laughs> I, I I know an odd amount of facts about Hitler. Uh, his dad worked for the state down in Bavaria. He would have a glass of wine before work. Hitler liked sugar in his wine. Hitler's dad was a beekeeper. Uh, it's it's commonly said that he was part Jewish, but that's not actually a, a fact. His real last name isn't Hitler. It's like semi-glutide or something. Right. And uh, that's and, it. And uh, he had one testicle. Right, uh, which they say drove him a lot of his anger. Yeah, because he has one ball. Um, but wait, no. What, was what is Hitler's? Of... So, um, his mustache is called the toothbrush mustache. Oh, it was popular in the 20th century, but during the time when he was in uh, World War One, this little mustache allowed him to fit his gas mask securely on his face. Oh, I knew it was a toothbrush. I, I, I thought you meant he had a nickname for it, like <laughs> yeah, like like old old pussy swifter. No. <laughs> No, his name, the name of Hitler, no, Hitler's, because I'm a big history fan too, the actual name of his mustache was Razzle Dazzle. (laughs) And you could see that, you could see that Hitler mustache of a special on Netflix. Did you see Tom give me, did you see Tom give me the Hitler's teacup? Yeah, yeah, teacup, it was great. That teacup set was at the House Wachenfeld on the Ober Salzburg. And in 1936, Gertie Troost, whose husband, was Hitler's architect, was she was his interior designer. And we acquired it, and there is basically a 99% probability that you're holding something that the Fuhrer drank from at his vacation home. This is Hitler's cup? That was Hitler's cup, yeah. <laughs> Put it to your lips. Put it to your lips. Isn't that cool? Happy birthday. I'm supposed to destroy it. No, you can get a lot of money for that. You can get a lot of money for that. <laughs> you did it in my hand. You're making me hold Nazi memorabilia. I thought it was going to be Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> it totally belonged to Hitler. Oh. You know, I thought it was Winston Churchill. <laughs> and it was Hitler's. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so uh, bad. It's a fucking one of the greatest gifts of all time. You have it in the house, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, maybe one day you'll be lucky enough to go to Bert's house and get Man, a sip. If Tom doesn't know how to work fucking YouTube and the, I mean, it, that fucking guy is so goddamn smart. I'm trying to figure out what to get him for his birthday. Now, do you drink out of that teacup? Every you- morning, my, my wife's breast milk. Yes. No, no that's no, what it is. No. That's no. Right. So what I, what I did is I bought a bunch of different teacups, and then I set them all up around, like like in uh, Indiana Jones and the right. Holy Grail. Right. So and then I and then we do shots, and everyone, no one knows who's drinking out of Hitler teacup <laughs> except teacup. for me. God. Oh. Well, if you know what, if we can make Hitler happy, that's what it's about. Um, Bert, you can see a special Razzle Dazzle on Netflix.